What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit that bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. Yo, y'all tell me if I would be wrong to do this. All right. I'm over here in a park that's basically... Nobody really uses it, man. So I come over on the side where nobody's parked at, where I can hit the cut and do my videos without, you know, you know, you know, without folks doing all that extra. Well, how about there's a, a, a city worker over here, B? You know what I'm saying? And instead of you going off in the cut and going, going on about your business, you want to park right here and look dead up in my face, B. Now, y'all tell me, let me tell you what I was about to do and probably still going to do for the hell of it. It's about to hook up my drone, park it right in his damn face and stare at him. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm looking at him right now. He, he's steady looking over here. He's like, yo, dude, what you want, B? Go on about your business. You know what I'm saying? I do this shit almost every damn day. If you curious about who I am, come and ask. I ain't no superstar nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just over here making videos. But if you want to make me feel uncomfortable with you staring at me, B, I'll let the drone stare at you. Now tell me I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong for that or not. I don't think so personally. You know what I'm saying? Go on about your business. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, yo, they, since I'm already aggravated, I might as well talk about some more damn aggravation. First, let me ask this question. Yo, Eddie Hearn, what in the hell is wrong with you, B? I, you, 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 you did good with your last fight. At least the one that I know about with Cambosis. You know what I'm saying? And what he did to Teofimo Lopez, that was one of the best fights. Matter of fact, that was the best fight I've ever seen on any of your cards. I'm just saying, you know, because it, it, it involved a champion and an underdog, a real somebody who supposedly been a big champion. We going to see now after all of that with Cambosis, right? Teofimo Lopez. But anyway... What's going on with Danny Jacobs? Who is this dude? What's his name? Who is John Ryder? R-Y-D-E-R, -E like the Ryder truck? Who is that? So I decided to look him up. And this is the opponent that Eddie Hearn got for Danny Jacobs. Let me tell you his, 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 well, first of all, this is his record, 30 and 5. He only fought five people who are known, but they not that good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hold on. Let's name his losses. He lost to Billy Joe Saunders, and that was, you know, it went 12 rounds, unanimous decision. He got TKO'd in the seventh round by some dude named Nick Blackwell, who I who I believe is a British fighter. You know what I'm saying? We don't really know too much about them over here. He lost to, look like it says, Jack Arnf Armfield. Who was that? You know what I'm saying? He went, He had. It was a unanimous decision. Unanimous. <laughs> he lost to Rocky Fielding, the same dude that Canelo destroyed. A, a split decision, you know what I'm saying? And then he lost, it lost the unanimous decision to Callum Smith. And now he got this fight with Daniel Jacobs. He beat some dude with, a, I, don't, I can't even say that, Mike Guy and Joseph Jerko. <laughs> That's who he beat, you know what I'm saying? So i'm looking at this at this stage y'all gotta excuse me my nose starting to get low no mm, y'all know what i mean but um i ain't got no tissue but um you know at this stage in daniel jacob's life 
You would think he would be fighting somebody like a Charlo, like Jamal Charlo or somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, and I already done gave my my opinion on Jamal Charlo, and I'm still asking now, why is it that, 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 that uh, Danny Jacobs has to fight some John Ryder? Because you got people like... <laughs> Um, um, Jamal Charlo out there who's going to use money as an excuse not to fight the guy. That's not enough money. Looking for that insurance policy just in case he get his ass whooped by Dan Danny Jacobs. You know what I'm saying? These dudes, I mean, I, ju I just don't get it. He's like, well, Daniel Jacobs. It says that here and then it says on some Danny Jacobs. I'm saying Daniel now. It's my bad, Daniel. He's 37 and 3. You know what I'm saying? And Eddie Hearn, you ain't doing him no service. And can't nobody say that there's this discrepancy because uh, uh, Jamal Charlo, J J um, J um, Jamal Charlo is PBC and and Daniel Jacobs is is, is um is Eddie Hearn in, in, in Eddie Hearn stable. That don't mean nothing. You know how I know? Because if they really want to make a fight happen, they'll make it happen. Just ask Deontay Wilder. He fought three fights in a row with a dude who 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 who's with um Bob Arum. Let's be for real. Bob Arum ain't PBC. Two different promoters, but they got together and they done it. So all that stuff about that being a problem, now it ain't a problem if they don't want it to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? So this fight, don't know when it is, but man, come on, this dude is from what is that? London, England, London, United Kingdom, man. This is basically a tailor made fight for him. It ain't really much of a fight. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. OMB signing out. Peace.